Yo, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy, King Abe, back again with another backpack for you guys. So, guys, in this video, I'll be showing you guys the easiest way you guys can identify your support and resistance zones. So, if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into the video. All right, guys. So we're gonna be looking at GPP, JPY. We're on the one hour time frame. So using support and resistance, if you're trading on the lower time frame, you have to go to the higher time frame to mark up your charts using support and resistance and i'll also be showing you guys how to when to get in the trade and where you're gonna set your stop loss and your take profits so since we're gonna be trading on the one hour time frame in this case we're gonna go to the one hour time or uh, the four hour time frame which is the higher time frame and mark up your zones using support and resistance and if you can mark up your zones using candlesticks the easiest way for you to do it is to switch to your line chart once you switch to your line chart you can see everything clearly so you mark up your zones you grab your horizontal line tool or you can use the rectangle tool as well but uh, in this video we're just going to use the horizontal line tool so you guys can see we got a resistance over there and we got support right here so when you're marking up your zones you're only looking for rejections that's all you're looking for and while you're doing it you can always switch back to the candlestick to see you know what you've done so far so switch back to the line chart and we can also see that over here we got resistance right there and we got support right here and we also have support right here and we got resistance over here because you're only looking for rejections for your resistance and you and rejections for your support and we also have this um, if i'm trading if i'm trading right now i don't need this many horizontal lines on my chart but for the sake of this video we're just going to do it like this so you guys will uh, understand so we're just going to leave it like this then you switch back to your candlesticks then you go to the one hour time frame and as you guys can see it looks different on the one hour time frame and now you have all your zones that you need and over here now that we have the one hour time frame you can see also see that we have this rejection right here so now when you are trying to get in using this strategy support and resistance your support and resistance call, or can also call it naked trading so we have no indicators or nothing now what you first thing you need to figure out is to figure out if we are on a downtrend or uptrend and if you're doing naked uh, naked chart trading this is how you have this is how you're gonna use it you trade with support and resistance and in some cases you can add trend line it's because when you add your trend line it's gonna help you identify whether this market is an is an uptrend or this market is in a downtrend if we take a look at this buy right here what you can do just grab your rectangle tool you grab it so you can automatically you can tell that okay this is definitely an uptrend and what you do is we have our resistance right over here it was this was our resistance right over here and price broke it right here price broke it right here then pull back so when price breaks above your resistance what you do is you can wait for a pullback once you wait for the pullback then you can get in this trade right here once you got in right over here 
Once you got it right over here for this buy, then you have your t first take profit over here. You got your second take profit over here, and you have your third take profit right somewhere over here. And that's how you use it for your buy. It's very, very simple to identify whether this is a this is definitely an uptrend. You add your trend line. You add your trend line, and then once price closes above your resistance, you just get into trade. And your next zone is going to be your first take profit, second zone, your is going to be your second take profit, and so on and so forth. And you can just set your stop loss somewhere right over here. You can set your stop loss somewhere right over here, and then you'll be in a safe trade. Now. To use it for yourself, if we take a look at right over here, what's going on right over here because the market is actually open. Now we have our support zone right over here. This was our support zone. We got the touch here and we got the touch over here. Now what you wait for is you wait for price to close below this your support zone. Once price is closed below your support zone, then you can get in get your tp1 here and your tp2 right over here right now the market is still open and if we switch back to our line chart we can see that the market created another support zone for us right over here so we clearly we clearly still in a downtrend we clearly still in a downtrend right over here so what you can do is if you want to get in this trade you just wait for price to close below this support zone right over here and you can have your take profit right over here or you can pull out your measurement tool because this is why trading view is very very important to your trading career so let's say you got in over here if you're trying to get 25 pips you just look at it 25 pips that's it right over there and then all the way to the right you can see that's your take profit right there 149.908 for 25 pips if we take a look at all the way down here we're looking at 65 pips and you have your stop loss somewhere right over here right above uh, the trend line or above this resistance zone right here just to be you know in a safe trade so that you avoid uh, market, the market stopping you out so guys that's it for me thank you guys for watching if this is your first time on my channel make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future videos uh, uh, uh.